in in our racing, why uh, when uh, we started running nitromethane, I didn't want anybody to know what we were running, and so I was trying to come up with a way of disguising it. So I got to thinking about the gunpowders, and there was one called dithinlamine, which was kind of an additive, and uh, so I thought, well, maybe I could get some of that and use a little bit of it and disguise the odor of the fuel we're using. So I get on the phone and I call Commercial Solvents downtown that we used to get all our fuel from, and I ask them about if they handled any kind of gunpowder. Oh yeah, he said, we got, we got, what do you want? And I said, well, I don't know what I want, but <laughs> I want something I can use a little bit to kind of disguise as the smell of the fuel we're using. But I don't want something that's going to blow up, you know. I, and so he says, well, okay. So pretty soon he called me back and he says, he says, I think uh, we've got some dithinlamine, which is a, is a form of, of gunpowder. And he says, I think that'd be fine for you. He says, it's not dangerous or anything. And you could just, you'd, you'd have to go on your own and start putting a little bit in at a time, see where you end up. So anyway, that's, that's what I did. And uh, uh, you know the little aluminum coffee things that you used to use to make the coffee? Well, I put a, one of those in five gallons of fuel. And uh, it smelled like gunpowder. And for a long time, I'm in the midget and everything, it just drove those guys crazy. <laughs> so, but that's a lot of fun. Now, you know, uh, you can go along, go along, and do things like you're supposed to, but, uh, you, you know, you, you've got to do something maybe you're not supposed to sometimes to make it a little more fun. <laughs> Mixing gunpowder with nitro. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, were you, what was the reaction? Oh, I mean, at the gentle there was no reaction whatsoever because... Like I say, the amount that I put in there was just strictly for smell purposes, and uh, it had no effect on the fuel whatsoever. And was this legal when you were racing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's legal if you don't know what, what it is? So. Uh... <laughs> and um, how did you first come about nitro? Uh... Ed Haddad, who used to drive midgets, walked in the shop one day and he had this 